Given two points, linear interpolation, is the insertion of new points at the straight line between these two points. For example P1 and P2. We have x1 equal to 0, and x2 equal to 3. Suppose we want a new point at x equal to 1. To get the y coordinate, we do the following weighted sum. These weights are values between 0 and 1, with 0 and 1 being the starting and ending points respectively of the interpolation. Now if we solve for y, this is the result. Linear interpolation on a set of points, is the concatenation of linear interpolation between each pair of points. If what we want is to resample data points, such as the pixels of an image, we must pay attention to where the new pixels are located. For example, suppose I want to resample these five points as ten points. What we do, is instead of going with a step size of 1, 0, 1, 2, and so on, we change the step size to the ratio between the default number of points, and the number of points we want to resample. 5 and 10 respectively, in this case. But, we want the resampled points to be aligned with the default points. To do so, we do the following variation. This is how some image editors, distribute the position of pixels when resampling images. Bilinear interpolation applied to images, is the resampling of image pixels to a certain size, using linear interpolation. Let's take this 3x3 image as an example. Using bilinear interpolation, we are going to convert it to a 4x4 image. The first thing to do, is find out the location of the new pixels. Now, let's start with the first row. The first pixel is at minus 0.125, between minus 1 and 0. Since there is no value at minus 1, we replicate the value at 0. 155. The second pixel is at 0.625, between 0 and 1. This pixel is interpolated using 155 and 182. We subtract 0.625 from the rightmost index, that is, 1 minus 0.625, to get the first weight. The second weight is obtained by subtracting 1 from the first weight. And we do the corresponding weighted sum. This is the result. The third pixel is at 1.375, between 1 and 2. This pixel is interpolated using 182 and 163. And this is the result. The fourth and last pixel is at 2.125, between 2 and 3. Since there is no value at 3, we replicate the value at 2. 163. The second and third rows are resampled with the same procedure. Finally, we resample each column of this resulting image. From top to bottom. This is the final result.